Hey guys, it's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, today the wind was so crazy. It was a Monday and you can see me here trying to talk and when I got home it was a disaster. I couldn't hear anything so I'm just going to do a voiceover for this trip and uh, hopefully you guys will have a good time listening and watching. Yeah, the weatherman said that it was going to be 5 to 6 miles an hour. It was blowing a good 15 to 20 the whole day. It never stopped. Uh, Paul wasn't with me today, so I had to get out there on my own. And uh, I had a pretty good day. I started off on a uh, location. And uh, what was so crazy is the wind was blowing straight in. And the tide was going straight out from where I was sitting right here. So the boat would be struggling to try to stay uh, in place while the current was going the opposite way. <laughs> so I was casting into the wind and even though the uh, even though my bobber was floating into the wind, the current was so strong it kept the bobber going. It was a really, really kind of odd uh, situation. You know, normally that's not how things are set up. So I uh, had a lot of issues, you know, trying to make sure I had the boat in the right place trying to uh, you know deal with the wind and it was hard to see because there was a lot of waves so it was hard to see my bobber I used a uh, of course a float rig and, and live shrimp that I got from down at knuckleheads in downtown st. Mary's uh, this is the uh, second location I went to my first my first cast I actually caught a fish and uh, then I didn't catch anything else at that first location. It was a creek mouth, so I came over here. And this is a little island that's near Cumberland Island. Cumberland Island's the big island you can see back there in the background. And I got over there, and I started catching a few trout. I caught some whiting. I caught a shark. I caught a little catfish. Uh, I caught a little bit of everything. And the trout really weren't very big over there. I... Um, it took me a while to figure out exactly where the trout were. There was about a 10 minute time period there where the current got really situated on a point in a way where it was it was pulling the current straight into where all these fish were. And so I had one little spell there, like I said, about 10 minutes where I caught several fish and they were all right in the same spot. And it was a tough day in general fishing because like I said it was hard to see the float uh, it was hard to keep the line straight because you had the float drifting with the current and the wind blowing against your line which made it want to bow so I had to use my casting rod my bait caster because it's a little easier to keep the line straight I had to use it a lot and it's a little heavier uh, setup it's a two ounce weight and a two ounce float that I use for that and uh, there were times when I used my my spinning rod because the current, you know, times when the current wasn't going too fast. So I had to change rods several times. I had to change the depths uh, of how deep I was fishing several times. The um, fish, I mean, you can see how hard the wind's blowing there. You know, it's blowing, it's blowing my pants leg like uh, like it's a flag. You know, and um, it was really difficult. To you know, figure out exactly what the depth you needed to be, uh, and, and I had to change it several times. So it was um, it wasn't an easy day to fish by any means. So that was the uh, the little shark that I'd caught. Uh, I have been fishing the last few weeks, you know, a few times, and the trips just haven't been all that great. You know, we've caught a few fish here and there. And there was a time period where I was uh, out of town and where Paul was out of town as well. And then uh, Paul had some uh, surgery done on his teeth, so he hasn't been able to get out and fish very much either. So it's just kind of been one thing after the other, either the weather or the wind or our schedules. Uh, you know, for some reason, just made it tough for me to fish as much lately. But, uh, you know, all in all, this was a pretty good day considering considering I hadn't been out there in a while 
and considering how tough these conditions were because the uh, the wind never let up and it was just crazy you know toward well a little toward the end of the day it did let up a little bit but normally if I looked at the weather forecast and I saw that the wind was going to be blowing 20 miles an hour I wouldn't go fishing and uh, it was a south wind so luckily when there's a south wind it's not too rough in uh, in some of these locations that I fish there's some places where there's a south wind you just can't fish and so uh, that's part of living down here if you live on the coast and uh, you live on the Georgia coast or the northeast Florida coast you know you have to be able to understand because with these tides you have to understand with the wind there's some winds and some tides that don't go together and it's so rough you can't fish so you have to have places that you can go when the wind is from a certain direction like if I have a, a wind from the north there's certain places that I go fish and if I have a wind from the south there's certain places that I go fish uh, a lot of people here fish at the jetties which is the mouth of the St. Mary's River and there's a jetty on the Florida side of the river and a jetty on the Georgia side of the river and a lot of people go out there and fish it's a you know real popular location and if the tide's going out and the wind's coming in you get out there it's like being out in the ocean it's really really rough so uh, you really have to learn how to deal with these winds and um, when I used to fish on the Gulf Coast the thing about the wind was all you really had to know was if the wind was out of the north it would make all the waves lay down in the ocean and if the wind was out of the south it would make the waves rough if it was out of the west you had a hard time fishing in some of the lagoons over there you know in the Pensacola area uh, but here it's it's a lot a lot different a lot more complicated um, you can see the size trout that I caught there this is toward the end of the day I was getting ready to leave I was running out of shrimp and I went back to the place where I started that morning and the first cast again I caught a trout but this one was a, this is the best trout I caught all day and uh, it was in really really shallow water all the trout that I caught were I, I pretty much had to have the sinker dragging the bottom they wanted that sinker on the bottom with the shrimp trailing behind it they didn't want they didn't want it up they didn't want to come up to get it so that's why I had to keep changing my um, my leader so much you can see that fish got the best of me there I couldn't hang on to it um, and I was hoping when I caught that thing on the first cast I was like oh well maybe I'll sit here and I'll catch you know a bunch of fish before uh, before I go in and I did catch a couple more and uh, like I said they were all the same way they all wanted you know the bait on the bottom uh, they all wanted to um, you know they just didn't they just didn't want it where they were coming up to meet it which I guess makes sense because the water surface was so rough and all that and really considering how rough it was I was surprised how good they ate they, they really um, you know I caught I, I caught them here and there kind of throughout the day and I did have some periods where it was really really slow but for the most part every once in a while I'd catch one it's just enough to kind of keep you interested so uh, and I like that you know I, I like to catch you know 15 or 20 and you know in, in 30 minutes that's really cool too but it is nice when you you know throughout the day you kind of catch them and catch them and it keeps you kind of keeps you going so um, this is my last fish that I caught so I'm headed in and I got on my kill switch on my wrist in case I ever have an accident so you guys always do that have a good day